Kelly here from Cochran Toyota. We're located at 8 River Heights Drive, Cochran, Alberta. And today I've got a 2016 RAV4 all-wheel drive SE to show you. All right, so this guy's exactly the way you want it. This RAV is a clean car proof, no accidents, single owner, service throughout Toyota its entire time. And it's a Toyota certified used vehicle. That means our technicians have gone and done a full mechanical safety on this vehicle. And then an exterior check to make sure that it is up to Toyota's premium used car standards. This is in great shape. This little SE is an awesome car. It's a sport edition. So it's got a little bit finer tuned suspension, a little bit uh, sportier rims, and then the blacked out everything. So you don't have chrome um, on the door handles and those kinds of details. So really clean. There's a couple little things there, but not much. You can take a peek right there. As you can see, kind of go over that curb. Um, but that's a little tiny little guy there. Other than that, clean car, car or windshield, sorry. Sunroof, 3M throughout. There's a 3M kit all the way along the front right here, all the way down this side on this, behind the door handles, and then of course the bumper as well. Full bumper, full hood, um, half hood, sorry. But again, really nice. This does have the LED strips right there for your daytime running lights. Again, fog lights in this guy as well. Let me open up the, hinge, uh, the hood here. You've got a four cylinder in these guys. This generation actually did the four cylinder pretty well. It was a nice um, power in these guys. So again, nice clean engine. And again, being a Toyota certified used vehicle means everything that Toyota's um, required to be done to it, all the servicing's up to date, everything is the way it should be. We'll jump into the tailgate here and kind of show you the back end of these guys. These are a smaller SUV, but there's lots of room back here. I've got a power um, tailgate. I can just press that button and let it all open up for me. On the key, we'll have that as well while I'm waiting for that. If you take a peek at the key here, you've got um, the button there. Plus, you've got the factory Toyota remote start, if I can get it here. Factory Toyota remote start right there as well. Inside, you're going to have your summer mats. and then or The summer mats are still in the bag, and then the winter mats are going to be um, in the back. You've got them also in the back seats. You also notice here you've got three child seat anchors, so you have two triple harnesses, and then the center one you need your seatbelt for. Underneath here, you're gonna have your um, full-size tire underneath there and your jack and stuff like that. <clears throat> but overall, nice clean car. Press the button up here, shut this guy up, jump in the back seats here. Now with the SC, you had that little red um, sport trim in there. Again, really nice leather seats all the way through. Nice thing about these guys is if I pop this thing right here, pull this seat down, it goes all the way down like that. And if you look, they got a ton of room. It actually folds flat. This thing goes flat like that. Um, tons of room in there to be able to put whatever you need to. The other nice thing about these guys is when I lift this back up, I can actually have a reclining seat. So if I want to, I can recline that right back, which is a nice option for those back occupants. Jump into the driver's seat here for you. First thing you'll notice is this does have blind spot monitors. So that will turn bright orange if someone's in your blind spot. Jump into the driver's seat. You've got soft touch um, leather throughout here. Again, a nice soft touch here. So you're not hard plastic throughout. On this guy, you're going to have your wood grain, if you can see that. Wood grain um, accent pieces. Your automatic um, windows. Uh, door locks and of course the lockout button keep the jerks in the back from messing with your windows in here you're gonna have your lumbar support the back and then the bottom of the seat here so you can move this up and down uh, but again if you take a peek at these seats this thing is in very very good shape no scratches nicks or anything like that or burn marks or anything like that on this side here you're gonna have your steer heated steering wheel so pop that on and you hear that click that means that whether you turn your car on and off that's gonna stay that way of course your dim your dash lights mirrors your extra, this is kind of like locking in the hubs. This little button here will, at low speeds, um, make sure all your tires are running at the same time, kind of like um, uh, an off-road mode. Uh, but really, this is to get you out of tight spots. Trunk in the back right there for you. I'll jump in. Enjoy the inside as well. Jumping into these things, the thing that's nice about the RAV4 is where you sit. When you start looking around you like this, you actually sit quite high and you have a lot of space um, to see things. So this is a really clear very little blind spots um, throughout this vehicle. But again, at the end of the day, just an awesome little rig. RAV4s are, are quality vehicles. They're gonna run forever, give you that all wheel drive that you're looking for, um, but just a great all around vehicle. We'll start with steering wheel. This is a telescoping steering wheel. You can pull this back or up and down, wherever you prefer. On this side, you're gonna be Bluetooth stuff. So again, your phone, um, change your, your, your songs right there, volume up and down, change your modes right there, and then of course the voice command. 
On this side, you got your cruise control right there, and then you're gonna control that centerpiece right there. When I turn the vehicle on, I'll show you what that looks like. The nice thing is you got leather wrap steering on this guy, and again, it is heated. This molded piece, you can feel the 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 grooves in the back for your fingers. And again, no matter where you hold the steering wheel, it is actually a nice, comfortable spot to hold it. Um, some steering wheels aren't as easy to drive as this one. Jump into this guy again, soft touch all the way through. Open her up. Got your glove box, standard glove box. Cup holder, not as big as an Nalgene, but definitely a bigger size one. You got your sports shifter here, so you can shift out of gears, um, whether you're gonna go downshift to pass somebody or so on and so forth. This guy's a little bigger. You could probably fit an LG in that one. If I go underneath here, you've got your heated seats for both. And then you've got your um, throttle control right here. So you can turn it at eco mode, which essentially loosens up your throttle, doesn't give you as much response. It gives you more of a eco-friendly version. And of course the sport mode does the exact opposite. It gives you a little bit more um, throttle response when you touch the gas pedal. You've got your um, heated windshield wipers right there. So you press that button and it'll actually heat up your windshield wipers for you. This side here, you're gonna have your USB port and your auxiliary out. And of course a 12 volt power outlet right there. That USB is gonna connect here. So if you wanna hard connect your phone and just use it as a um, MP3 player, you can do that as well. On this side, you're gonna have dual climate control. So you've got uh, settings for both. This is gonna be your primary one. You hit sync and then you can use everything here. But if this person wants to use their own, they can as well. Lots of little uh, functions there for you. I'll turn on the car and give you a little bit more of a demo of everything. So in the center here, nice little introduction there for you. But it's going to start off with the four-wheel drive. That's it, like a, it's neat. You can see how far your angle is. That red dot will move depending on the angle, and you can see which the all-wheel drive um, tires are actually doing most work with the little bars on the side right there. Uh, but again, at the end of the day, nice little option. Eco indicator kind of telling you if you're driving with eco-friendly. Um, you're going to have your distance, your range, those kinds of details, your your um, compass right there for you. Music, if I turn that on, you can control it right through here. So it pops up right there. And I can control the music right from that spot. Um, you're going to see outside temperature gauge and all that. That little blinking piece right there is telling me that it's icy outside. So if I scroll over, any messages, so tire low, door open, those kinds of things, um, they're all going to pop up right there for you. Um, but again, I think most people are going to spend their time in the... Uh, sorry, that's settings. I can actually go blind spot monitors, um, those kinds of things, set them all up right there for you, change the to miles per hour, so on and so forth. But again, I think most people are going to send most of their time with that one right there. It's a pretty awesome one. The navigation system, first off, you're going to have a backup camera in there. So if you look, it is not quite bumper tip to bumper tip, but very close. But you also have this version of the backup camera, so you can actually see where the tires are going to take you. So that's your footprint of the vehicle. That's where it's going to take you right there, which is a nice option to have. Go back to here. You'll notice right off the bat, if I select phone, <clears throat> I can get rid of some people's phones this way. Krista's going to be upset because she obviously wanted hers on there, but I can switch it out like this. Pop that one off. Let's pop the other one off as well. Right there. And if I want to add a phone, it's just as easy. I literally just press this button, takes me to this screen, which means I go to my settings on my phone, hit uh, the Bluetooth and off I go. I don't have to press any more buttons here. So super easy to add stuff up. If I go back to home, so I've got the navigation right here, super easy to use, just click that button. Um, there's gonna be a, a voice tutorial and stuff because we've reset this guy. But if I use the voice command, that's the spot right there. It says, don't tell me again. I click that little button right there and it will take me out of the voice training or tutorials. But for now I can do this. What would you like to do? Find McDonald's. Where would you like to find McDonald's? I can talk my way through the rest Show of this, but I actually like pressing McDonald's. the buttons. To navigate to this point of interest, I can call them if I like. There or navigating to McDonald's. And of course, I'm driving. I just talked my way through all that. But you do have three routes there as well. So if I click those, I can go like this and actually adjust which route. So if I got more than one route way to get there, it'll give me the quickest. So highways, those kinds of things. Shortest would be the kilometers. And alternate would be a different version to get there as well. So I can hit OK. It'll take Please me to that spot. to the highlighted route. Then the route guidance will start. One of the things that used to bug me about um, navigations is when I see the golden arches, is trying to get rid of the voice. Now I can just hit this button delete destination hit yes 
super easy to use. So again, really nice navigation system. Again, dual climate control. And once again, this is a Toyota certified used vehicle with one owner so, um, service through Toyota the entire time. Um, this is a great little SUV if you're looking for um, a fun, sporty looking one with a sunroof, um, navigation, backup camera, the whole entire works, even heated steering wheel. Anyways, come, out, come on down, take a peek at a Cochrane Toyota.